let us see what was the question given here they are asking us to find the set of points where the function f of x how f of x is defined let me write it down f of x is defined as box x plus mod of 1 minus x in the interval minus 1 to 3 is it okay we need to check in which points it is not differentiable they are asking agree so we are first of all if you want to solve this problem we need to find out what is meant by box x what is meant by modulus of x agree so let me give you what is meant by box x box x we will call it as a greatest integer function or we can call it as a what we can call it as a step function what is the actual meaning of this we need to choose a function uh, that rounds to a given number which is what the nearest integer which is less than or equals to that number or uh, let me show you if you have minus 2.3 let us assume but if I take a number line uh, this will be let us assume 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 so we know that minus 2.3 will lie in where here left side of this let me change the color here is it okay uh, then what I am telling is I just uh, I am saying like you need to choose an integer which is uh, less than or equals to this value nearest integer what is the less than value nearest integer minus 3 so the answer will be minus 3 if you have 2.7 what is the greatest integer function for this this is 1 this is 2 this is 7 is it okay like let us assume 3 2.7 will be here is it okay i just want a least integer which is less than or equals to so what is the next integer to the left side so this will be 2 this is what i will be doing you may get it out what happened to the integer so integer means same as it is we'll be writing agree so I'll define what happened to the box x function. We can say that box x value will be in a number line. If I take minus 1, 2, what I'll take? 0, let us assume. I'll try to draw it here. This is minus 1. We know that greatest integer function is discontinuous at integers, means a step function. Is it okay? So how can I say this will be minus 1? If I take any value between this uh, here, it value will be what? Simply minus 1 to 0. Is it okay? That is what I'll be doing here. So now let us move on here. So what I can take, if I take any value between, let me show you, minus 1 to any value, like what, minus 1.9 or a minus, okay, minus 1.9 not, I should take a 0 0.9. Is it okay? So let me take it as a minus 0 0.9, agree? And minus 1 or minus 0 0.4, agree? These are all comes under this category only. So if I take any value x between minus 1 to 0, it's taking the value x alone x is what minus 1 is it okay i'll be writing minus 1 here similarly if i take any value from 0 to 1 if i take any value here i can say the greatest integer function value for this is what 0 so similarly if i take any value from 1 to 2 so where 1 is included 2 is not included agree it value will be 1 and from 2 to 3 it, 3 is not included so this value will be 2 and you may get it out ma'am in the interval you are having less than or equals to so at a 3 what you will be getting it will be 3 alone for an integer greatest integer function will be always an integer is it okay this is how i will be defining our box x function or we will call it as a step x then what happened to the mod of 1 minus x here so let me redefine this also we know that uh, let me give you the definition for the modulus of x we know that mod x is nothing but x if x is greater than 0 or equals to 0 and this will be minus x if x is less than 0. So minimum formula you need to remember for the modulus function is this one. Same thing I will try to apply here. So what I can say mod x this will be 1 minus x if 1 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. And this will be minus of 1 minus x if 1 minus x is less than 0. Is it clear? So actually what I can do I will try to redefine this function as uh, try to this is what 1 minus x. When can this happen? Try to send x to the other side. So which is what? 1 is greater than or equals to x. Is it okay? This will be minus 1 plus x when try to send. See, I am not at all doing anything. I am just sending x to the other side. So, negative x goes to the right side, it will be positive x. Here also send x to the other side. Negative x, if it goes to the right side, it will be positive x. Is it okay? 1 is less than x alone. If you have any doubts in this, you just let me know. Is it okay? Hmm. So, from which interval to which interval I need to define? I will take a number line here. Is it okay from minus 3? So minus oh sorry 3 to minus 1 to 3. So what are the breakpoints? Okay, I will try to plot this function. So here I can say this is 1 is the breakpoint here. Is it okay? So if x is less, this is nothing but x is less than 1. Now. Is it okay? If x is less than 1, everywhere your function will be what? 1 minus x. If x is greater than 1, your function will be what? Minus 1 plus x. I will be applying the same thing here by combining this with this. So what I will be getting here, let me show you, I uh, will try to rewrite our function in this way, f of x 
we have box 6 plus mod of 1 minus 6. Is it okay? Yes. So, now let us continue. What we can do here? From I will start from where? Minus 1 to 0. Is it okay? So, if I write in this way, from minus 1 to 0, what happened to your f of x? Like box 6. So, this value will be minus 1. I will try to zoom out. Huh. So, this value will be minus 1 plus what happened to 1 minus mod x? For the sure 0 will lie in this interval only. So, what I can do? Actually, I can write it as 1 minus x. Agree? So, in which what I can do? This value will be simply minus x alone. Is it okay? Similarly, I will try to take from 0 to 1. 0 to 1, your box x value will be 0 plus you need to check about mod of 1 minus x. Um, from between 0 to 1, this value will be same. So, I will be writing 1 minus x only. So, what it will be? Its value is also 1 minus x. Is it okay? And what is the next interval I can take? 1 to 2. 1, 2, 2. Uh, what happened to the box x? It value will be 1 here. So, I will be taking 1 plus what happened to mod of 1 minus x? So, from 1 to 3 means in between 2 is also there. Your function is defined in this way. So, this will be what? I can write it as minus 1 plus x. So, from this I can cancel minus 1 plus 1. Simply, I will be getting x alone. I will be writing the same function here. So, now let us move on. What is the next interval I can take from 2 to 3? From 2 to 3, what happened to your function box x? It will be 2 here. I will be applying the same thing. Is it okay? Yes. So, now what I will be doing here? Let us move on a little bit. This is 2 plus. What happened to mod of 1 minus x? Same thing is defined. So, minus 1 plus x. So, what it will be? 2 minus 1 will be 1. I will write it as a 1 plus x. Is it okay? And what is the final thing here? At the point x is equal to 3, I need to take. Box function will be 3 alone. Here, what happened to the function? Same function I can take. Is it okay? Yes. At x is equal to 3, uh, let me, huh, directly also I can do. So, let me substitute its value. Is it okay? So, this will be mod of minus 1 plus x. I will be writing here minus 1 plus x. Is it okay? Uh, what it will be? This is nothing but 3 minus 1, 2. So, 2 plus x. Is it okay? Yes. So, now let us move on. So, this is our new function. Is it okay? Now, with the help of this function, we need to check the differentiability. When can I say a function is differentiable? If you are left hand derivative of that function, left hand uh, derivative of that function will exist and right hand derivative of that function will exist and this must be equal. I can say that it is differentiable. Agree? Yes. So, first of all, if you remember, we know that continuity implies differentiability. Let me show you. Continuous. If a function is continuous, we can say that it is differentiable. Okay. So, directly I will check for the continuity. Is it okay? Yes. So, for checking for the continuity, if you check properly here 0, 1, 2, 3 are the break points. So, let us check at x is equal to 0. I will, how to check uh, continuity? We know that when your left hand limit is equals to right hand limit, which is equals to f of that value. I can say that function is continuous. Is it okay? So, at x is equal to 0, let us check the left hand limit, which will be limit you are approaching from x is equal to 0, where left means left is less than 0. So, what happened to your f of x here? Let me write it down. So, this is nothing but limit. x tends to 0. x less than 0, your function value will be x alone minus x. I will be taking minus x. This will be 0 alone. Is it okay? Yes. So, now let us move on here. And what happened to the right hand limit? If I take the right hand limit, this will be limit x tends to 0, x is greater than 0 f of x. If x is greater than 0, what happened to your function? Your function will be simply 1 minus x. Is it okay? So, let me write it down. Limit x tends to 0, second function here. Okay. So, this will be 1 minus x. Wherever x is there, I have to replace with 0, 1 minus 0, which is 1. So, if you check here, for this case is here, left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So, I can say that what it is, it is not continuous at x is equal to 0. Is it okay? So, I can say that not continuous at x or it is not continuity. Okay. It is not continuous at x is equal to 0. Is it okay? Let me similarly, I need to check for what at x is equal to 1 also. I will try to check. Is it clear? So, what is the next limit here? 1. See, you, we will call this as a break point. So, these are the four points I need to check. So, let me check one by one. If I take x is equal to 1, See, left hand limit will be what? I have to approach limit x tends to 1, which is x is less than 1. 
if x is less than 1 what happened to our function this is 1 minus x so which will be 1 minus 1 0 and let me check about the right hand limit what is right hand limit here let me show you right hand limit is nothing but limit x tends to 1 I am approaching 1 from the right side so x is greater than 1 agree so this one where this function this is what simply x alone I will be taking x here so this will be 1 if you check uh, here both are different we can say that left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit in this case also what we can say we can say that it is not continuous means it is discontinuous it is not continuous at x is equals to 1 also is it okay similarly I will be checking for 2 and 3 it will be done easily is it okay it you see if you are a new beginner you feel like it's difficult but if you are habituated for doing uh, checking continuity and all it will be very easy directly also I can do so left hand limit will be what same so limit x tends to 2 I will be having here from the left hand approach what is x tends to 2 from the left hand approach this will be x here so if I apply this is x which is 2 what is right hand approach right hand limit limit x tends to 2 I will be approaching from the right side which is x is greater than 2 your function will be 1 plus x so I will be applying the same 1 plus x is nothing but 1 plus 2 which is 3 in which both are not equal LHL is not equal to RHL agree what we can say we can say that this function is not continuous at x is equals to 2 also and the final thing what we need to check so we need to check the condition where it is simply let me show you 3 alone if I take x is equals to 3 uh, I'll write for that also what is the left hand limit here this is limit you are approaching x from 3 from the left hand side what is the left hand side how your function is defined from the left hand side this one which is x is less than 3 so this is what simply 1 plus x I'll try to replace 1 plus x which is nothing but 4 okay and what happened to the right hand limit this is limit x tends to 3 but you are approaching from the right hand side which is x is uh, greater than 3 or equals to 3 also I can take is it okay what I will be taking here this is 2 plus x which will be what it is simply 2 plus 3 is 5 is it okay hmm. any doubts on this so actually we will not call it as a right, uh, um, right hand limit I will call it as a f of 3 is it okay I will call it as a f of 3 what is f of 3 2 plus 3 which is 5 so in which both are not equal here left hand limit is not equals to right hand limit will not exist I will take simply f of 3 is it okay so what I can say this also I can say it is not continuous where at x is equal to 3 is it okay all the points I have taken no one more point is left over what that is simply the minus one if you check the question in which minus one is also included so let me check for minus one you may get a doubt for a minus one how we will be doing for the function means I will try to check minus one we have a less than minus one and we have a equality both the things we have is it okay so what we can say I will take the same thing here if I take uh, let me do it for x is equals to minus 1 if I take x is equals to minus 1 here what I will be getting here try to check the left hand limit is it okay so this is limit x tends to minus 1 f of x means x you are approaching from minus 1 minus is it okay so x is less than 1 what you will be getting here do you have any value here okay this one x is less than minus 1 so we don't have any value so I'll try to avoid it is it okay we don't have so let us go for the right hand limit this is left hand limit which is not possible I'll go with the right hand limit what is right hand limit limit x tends to minus 1 but you are approaching from where minus 1 from the positive approach f of x positive approach means x is greater than minus 1 where is x is greater than minus 1 this one so this will be minus x alone I'll be writing minus x here minus x is it okay so what I'll be getting here this will be minus of minus 1 which is nothing but 1 alone is it okay huh. what happened to f of minus 1 here let me check equality also I can do f of minus 1 value will be where equality holds through here you can see the for minus 1 equality will hold is it okay let me substitute it function is minus x which is minus of minus 1 which is 1 alone so I can say that here in this case left hand not actually left hand limit Le left hand limit is does not exist is it okay I will be going checking with the right hand limit must be equals to what f of a so this is one this is one from this what I can conclude here or, or um, it is continuous therefore it is continuous where at 
x is equals to minus 1. Is it okay? Now, at x is equals to minus 1, what happened to your function actually? Your function will be simply minus x alone. Is it okay? If it is a, therefore, let me write it down. At f of x value will be what? Minus x where x is equals to minus 1. So, you need to check the differentiability. So, I will apply direct f dash of x value will be what? Minus 1. So, we can say that it is differentiable. Is it okay? We can say that continuity implies differentiability. In the rest of the cases and all, it is not continuous. We can conclude that it is not differentiable. Only at x is equals to minus 1, it is continuous. I will be checking the differentiability for this. Is it okay? So, directly I can say that it is differentiable at minus 1. Agree? If you have any doubts, you just let me know. Thank you.